in this video i am going to explain about smallest and greatest numbers we already know that there are 10 digits in the number system and they are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 we form different numbers using these digits for example 8 45 369 where 8 is a one digit number it has only one digit 45 is a number formed with two digits so it is a two digit number and 369 has three digits so it is a three digit number regarding numbers we must remember that when we start writing numbers from zero they are called whole numbers and when we start writing numbers from 1 they are called natural numbers natural numbers are also called counting numbers why because when we count objects we start counting from 1 not 0 for example count the number of cookies we start counting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are seven cookies before we proceed let me ask you a question when we count objects we always start counting from 1 why not from 0 because 0 by itself does not have a value it represents no amount or no objects the digit 0 gets a value only when it is written after another digit which means that when we write zero it actually represents the absence of any number so what did you understand that counting always begins from one so when we start counting or writing numbers from one the numbers 1 to 9 have one digit that is they are one digit numbers and from 10 onwards they have two digits which makes them two digit numbers and looking at the one digit numbers from 1 to 9 we can clearly see that 1 is the smallest number with one digit or the smallest one digit number and 9 is the greatest number with one digit or the greatest one digit number and after 9 comes 10 which is the first number with two digits which makes it the smallest two digit number after this in order to get the greatest two digit number do we have to continue writing all the numbers till we get the answer no we don't have to do that there is a simple method that can be used to get all the smallest numbers and the greatest numbers by now we know the 10 digits of the number system very well they are 0 to 9 0 is the smallest digit and 9 is the greatest digit so in order to form the greatest numbers which digit will you use obviously greatest numbers will be formed with the greatest digit 9 and in order to form the smallest numbers will you use the smallest digit 0 no why because zero by itself does not have any value it is not a counting number but zero can be written after any other digit then it is counted as a number and which is the next smallest digit after zero one so in order to form the smallest numbers zero will be written after the next smallest digit one So now we know that the smallest numbers will be formed with the digit 1 followed by 0. Now you know the rule the greatest numbers will be formed with the digit 9 and the smallest numbers will be formed with the digit 1 followed by the digit 0. Shall we form the smallest and greatest numbers now? We'll begin with the smallest numbers. You know the rule the digit 1 followed by the digit 0 let's begin with the smallest one digit number which digit should we write 1 do we have to write 0 after 1 no because we need only one digit 
So what is the smallest one digit number? 1. Next form the smallest two digit number. First write 1 then 0. Do we need more zeros? No because we have already got two digits. So what is the smallest two digit number? 1 0 10. Similarly to form the smallest three digit number we write 1 followed by two zeros to get three digits. The smallest three digit number is 1 0 0 100. Next we shall form the greatest numbers for which we will use the digit 9 only. We will begin with the greatest one digit number which is 9. The greatest two digit number is 9999 and the greatest three digit number will be 999999. Before we end, let's do a quick recapitulation. The smallest one digit number is 1. The smallest two digit number is 10. And the smallest three digit number is 100. The greatest one digit number is 9. The greatest two digit number is 99. And the greatest three digit number is 999. Thank mm -hmm. you.